Hey, Eagle Run 2-3 here. We've got a little propane burner, and I just got this. I've never used it, but I mentioned it to my uncle, and he said, you need a plow disc walk to put on that. And I said, yeah, I do. And he said, I've got one. I'll bring it to you next time I see you. Well, he brought me one. And this is actually one that he made. So uh, it's got a hole, like a square hole there in the middle. And then um, he plugged it, welded it. And of course, this side, of course, is not the pretty side, but he did a really good job because you can't even see there. But of course, this thing is all rusty and uh, we're going to clean it up. Now, there are a bunch of ways to handle rust. And uh, since this is something you're gonna eat on, you could always just do a vinegar solution. Uh, you could do salt uh, works as well, a little salt and water and a scrub brush. Um, we're not gonna do that though. We're going to get out the power tools. There are all sorts of chemical strippers you could use, but uh, I've got a, um, a sanding disc for my angle grinder, and I think that's going to work the best here and make uh, pretty short work of this. Okay, so that was 120 grit, um, which is relatively fine for a flap disc. Did a pretty good job. And uh, we're going to demonstrate another method here. This is uh, vinegar that I've put into a water bottle here. And we're just gonna wipe that vinegar around and let it hang out. Now, if you uh, just have light rust, there's no reason why you could not just settle for scrubbing on this thing and not sanding we've also got some rust up here in the handle that we'll let okay so i'm gonna let that soak in i don't know five or ten minutes and we'll come back and scrub on it all right so that's been soaking and here is some baking soda Okay, so this is just after one, and there's just a little bit of rust down there in the middle. So let's uh, let that vinegar do its thing, and we'll hit it again. You could hit it again as many times as you need to.
just to show you one other way, you can also grab, you know, some steel wool. We went ahead and rinsed this off, but you could hit that with some elbow grease and really you could do the whole thing with steel wool if you wanted to, just how much time you got to spend on it. You can kind of use a rule of thumb that you need to keep going until your white paper towel is clean. So we got a little bit more work to do. What's this a walk? Uh, this is a walk. Um, uh, Uncle Merle made it. Hmm. And I'm just cleaning it up so we can use it. You want to scrub on it? Okay, go for it. Don't get any of that on you. Okay. It's rusty. Okay, let me rinse and we'll go again. Still dirty. Okay, keep scrubbing. See how we're doing. Still rusty. <laughs> well, probably we can see the bottom. Is it this? Oh, maybe one or two more times. We're getting real close. Ooh, wait. Oh, there it goes. I hear it now. All right, let's go back a little bit. Ready? There we go. Okay, so for now, we've, uh, we're going to make sure it's nice and dry, and then we're going to use pretty much any cooking oil. Uh, Crisco works great. Um, you can even use like avocado. Some people like bacon grease. Um, I say that you should probably do a good coat of, um, of cooking oil or Crisco, get it seasoned three or four times, and then you can, uh, you can kind of finish it off with bacon grease. I would not use bacon for the first couple of, uh, of seasoning. So we're going to heat this thing up until it is. It'll kind of change colors, and then we'll get our oil on. Is it starting to change color? Yeah, it's starting to turn goldy. Okay, getting hot. Yep, definitely hot. Okay, so we've hit it with the oil here, and uh, we want to make sure that there's no excess. I can see a little bit pooling down there on the bottom, so I'm going to go back and hit it with a dry paper towel and uh, make sure there's no excess oil. That excess oil will make a funky buildup, um, so you want to make sure that it's uh, all the excess is removed. So you want to take your time here. You're going to need to repeat this uh, four or five times and make sure you get a good build up. Anything that is not protected will rust again. So take your time, do a good job, let it cool all the way down, fire it back up again. So it's a real similar process as a cast iron skillet. Uh, this is just a high carbon steel plow disc. Okay, we're going to call this good for now. 
Uh, we can definitely continue to build on this, but we've done three season cycles and it's looking pretty glossy. Um, these areas right here will darken up just as we continue to use it and they'll be protected. I also wanna keep working on, I got some rust in there that's just kinda of hard to get out. I don't wanna put a chemical on it, but I could, I guess, if it bothers me. So anyway, we're uh, ready to cook on this thing and it will continue to darken up as we use it. You can do this. If you have any questions, give me a shout in the comments. Eagle Run 2-3, thanks for watching.